Hello, everybody. This is Dirk Fulbaum. I'm product manager with Advanced Energy, and welcome to our webinar in which I would like to introduce our new power controller series, Tyro PX. So first of all, I'd like to uh, yeah I'd like to prepare you a little bit uh, because uh, it's not only listening to our presentation. You can also submit questions during through this webinar interface while I'm giving the presentation. So it's not only me alone. I also have my uh, colleagues Timo Nagel and uh, Katrin von Rhein uh, with me, and uh, so they will answer your questions online while I'm talking. Okay. So at the end of the presentation, we will have a Q and A session in which I pick up some questions from your questions that might be interesting for the whole audience, and I will talk about that. So we also would like to ask some information from you, which we do uh, via two polls during this presentation. So you will be, uh, you, you, will, uh, you can answer questions by clicking on the respective field. Yeah? So you will see that. It's easy. It should be fine. Okay, so let's get started. So first, I will give you a short introduction to our company, Advanced Energy. Uh, then the big part of the presentation will be about our new Thyristor Thyr SCR power controller series, Thyro PX. I will give an overview, then some more details, key features and benefits, and at the end, we will have this question and answer session and a conclusion. Okay, so let's start with the introduction to our company, Advanced Energy. Advanced Energy is an American company. It's a public uh, company, also on the NASDAQ, uh, under, the, under the abbreviation AEIS. So the size of the company, the revenue, annual revenue last year was about 360 uh, million US dollars. And we have uh, more than 1,500 employees worldwide. Our headquarters is in Fort Collins in Colorado in the US. So what does advanced energy do? Advanced Energy focuses on the um, on the development and, of course, the sales of precision power products. So, Advanced Energy is interested in all the products that refer to precision power supplies and to really special applications. So, we have a, a, a big variety of products, and we serve. Uh, really a lot, as a big variety of industries as well. So we have radio frequency, we have AC, DC, high voltage, temperature measurement, temperature control, serving different industries. So today we are talking about the uh, temperature control. So for this uh, thermal, uh, we have two big products or product series in the company. So one is our pyrometers, which is uh, produced by the advanced energy company Sekidenko in the US. And of course, we have our SCR power controllers, the Thyro family series, um, which is our product. So we, uh, we, yeah, we develop this product and we uh, do the management for this product here in Germany. So we have over 50 years of experience in thyristor power controllers. So let's start with a pretty basic introduction on what a power controller is and what it does. So here you can see a slide showing a typical closed loop control system uh, for an electrical furnace. And you can see the electrical furnace on the right-hand bottom side. 
So the power that goes to the electrical heating elements in that furnace is controlled by the power controller, which you can see in the middle at the bottom. Yeah. So the power controller controls the power according to a set point. That set point uh, is generated either by a, by a PLC, so for example, the Rockwell Automation Logics Controller, or a uh, temperature controller. Yeah. So the set point signal refers either to, uh, to power, to voltage, or to current, and the power controller regulates the electrical power flow uh, to the heating elements according to this set point. Yeah. Um, so the set point is generated according to a temperature feedback signal. The feedback signal is created either by a thermocouple or by a temperature transmitter from the electrical furnace, and that's the input. So the whole thing is the outer control loop. Of course, there are also mains voltage variations and there could be uh, resistance variations for the electrical uh, heating elements in the furnace. So these main sorry, these main voltage variations and resistor variations are not or normally not regulated by the outer closed loop, but by the power controller itself. So that's a way to keep the temperature really stable. Um, of course, the uh, SCR power controller is a digital unit, so you have all the advantages and possibilities of a digital unit. You can configure it using a PC tool or a little display. You can uh, do field bus communication. So what are the uh, key capabilities of advanced energy? So there are three pillars. Um, the first one, of course, is the focus on uh, precision power for really special applications. Yeah. So we have the leadership and we have the talents, especially in our R&D teams. So the second pillar is our operational excellence. We have several factories worldwide. And uh, the third pillar is our global presence. We are a global company. So on this slide, you can see um, where we are present. So uh, for power controllers, our main hub is in Germany, here in Europe. Uh, our headquarters is in Fort Collins in the US. But we are also present in Asia as well. Let me show you the poll result. Okay, so we have uh, quite distributed applications here. So we have semiconductor, we have industrial furnace, glass, metal is really strong. But we have all present. Okay, thank you very much for your feedback. Let's continue. So let's look at the Cyro PX power controller series. So when talking about Cyro PX SCR thyristor power controller series, so what what is expecting you? So let's look what's really special and what are the benefits. Okay. So first of all, with Cyro PX, there's a remarkable flexibility and configurability as you have never seen before in any of our products. Yeah. Um, 
With this flexibility and configurability, there's a really wide performance range. So not only regarding voltage and current, but also regarding applications. So applications that have not been uh, possible to serve before can be served now with Thyro PX without tweaking anything on the firmware. Yeah. Uh, so we have, of course, a really exact control accuracy. Um, and uh, we have advanced automation capabilities. And of course, we focus on easy integration and configuration. As mentioned before, um, there is the power controller general in general are used in thermal processes across a broad range of industries worldwide. So let's look at the key operational features. Uh, Thyro PX is available in uh, two nominal voltages. So the first one is 500 volt, and the second one is 690 volt. The 500 volt uh, types are not only for 500 volt, but for nominal voltages of uh, 230 volt up to 500 volt. So we have a really wide range of current. So Thyro PX is available from 16 amp types up to 2,900 amp types. Of course, we have single phase, two phase, two phase and three phase units. So the two-phase unit is for the three-phase economic circuit. So we have precise control of electrical power, current, or voltage. We have a lot of, or we have several con operating modes and control modes. There's uh, main load optimization, which I will talk about later on. Uh, there is the multi-zone feature, which is completely new. So I will talk about that as well. Also new is the fuse monitoring um, and the completely integrated IP20 protection. Um, so let's talk about the uh, key communication features. So one um, one thing that is absolutely new to Thyro PX is the multiple I.O. card and I.O. module option. So we have, with Thyro PX, we have the possibility to, uh, to put uh, a multiple I.O. extension. So if the built-in I.O. are not enough for your applications, you can put extra cards. I will also show that later. Um, a new feature is also that we use any bus modules for the field bus communication. Um, there is the uh, Thyro Touch display available, which I will talk about later, and of course the Thyro Tool Pro PC software. So what are the key features and benefits to go a little bit more into detail? So this is just the structure of the key features and benefits. So starting with the operating mode. So first of all, we have the, uh, the full wave package control, which we call TACT which is the operating mode that is like a blinker. So you have switch on time, switch off time. Um, it creates flicker, it doesn't create harmonics. And then second, we have this phase angle mode, VAR, um, which is really fast, but it creates harmonics. Um, we have the voltage sequence control modes, which is a nice way to have all the advantages of phase angle. Uh, but without creating so many harmonics. Yeah. And as well, we have the starting mode, uh, MOSI, which is a special starting mode uh, for a molybdene silicon heating elements, which have an extremely high difference between uh, cold and warm resistance. 
and there is a special starting mode with a one-time ramp, which is uh, there to uh, symmetrize uh, transformers. Okay, let's talk about our DASM, a digital and dynamic mains load optimization. So this DSM function is needed if you have uh, if you have several Cyro PX in one installation, and you use um, you use these uh, Cyro PX in the full wave mode, which is the tuck mode. So for example, a blick big glass installation with 30 power controllers. Yeah? So tact is often used for that. So what you can do is um, you can connect those and they can communicate with each other and synchronize each other. So if you look at the slide, um, the red picture shows that's the total current. It shows what happens uh, when you don't synchronize. So if all the power controllers switch on at the very same time and stop at the very same time, you will have high current peaks and really almost zero current period within this tag period. So once you synchronize it with DSM, these on times will be shifted so that you get an optimized total current. You can see that on the right-hand side, the green graph. There's a current which the, a total current which almost doesn't change over the time, so that reduces flicker, and it reduces your your total peak current, which saves you investment costs as well, because you are, you can be sure that you won't have such a high peak current anymore. So uh, these DSM groups can be up can unify up to 32 units. Okay, there, uh, here's a list of our uh, connectivity and communication uh, pods. So I will go through them anyway. So I forward now. The so let's start with the Thorough Touch display. Uh, the Thorough Touch display is a display which is a colored display and a touch display. So you can put it directly on the Thorough PX unit and you can use it for uh, for configuration, you can use it for commissioning, and of course you can visualize Thorough PX actual values. Um, it does the same like the PC2. So if you have the, the touch display, Thorough touch display, you don't necessarily need a PC tool to do the commissioning and to do the settings. So the Thorough Touch display has some other functions which are also uh, which can also be really interesting. So for example it has a data logger. So you can store data during your process. You can monitor data during your process. You can also show them in bar charts or line charts. And it has an integrated SD card where you can uh, take these values to your PC and analyze them. It also has an easy start feature uh, for easy um, commissioning. Um, all Thyro Touch displays have that's new have an integrated low energy Bluetooth chip, which is, which is normally deactivated, but you can activate it if you need it. And uh, shortly there will be apps available, both for iOS as well as for Android. And uh, this, should make, um, this should make the use a lot more comfortable, because you can use a tablet or you can use a mobile phone instead of this uh, display. Uh, normally, the Thorough Touch display, or you can put the Thorough Touch display directly on the unit, 
but normally or the units are built into catamel. So it makes a lot of sense to put the zero touch display into the cabinet door instead of putting it directly on the unit. So for that, we have a so-called cabinet installation kit, um, which is a little plastic frame. You can put it into the cabinet door, and there is an RS-232 cable uh, to connect to the Zyro PX power controller. So the um, Zyro Tool Pro PC software um, is the right PC software to configure the Thyro PX. It is actually a further development of our existing uh, Thyro Tool AX. So this Thyro Tool Pro is the software for AX and for PX power controller series. Um, yeah, you can do analysis of actual values. You can, of course, configure the unit. Uh, you can store configuration data, do everything what's needed for the PC tool. Uh, one new feature is that uh, Thyro PX has a micro USB uh, connection. So this micro USB connection is there um, to connect the PC tool. And you can use a standard micro USB cable, so anywhere in the world, you can find such a cable. Um, Zyro PX is our first series to use the so-called Anybus modules as field bus communication interfaces. So the big advantage is that any new field bus protocol will be really fast available. Yeah. So for example, uh, for the first time, we are offering EtherCAT communication for one of our power controllers. So here on the slide, you can see all the field bus protocols that we are starting with. Um, the DSM, a digital and dynamic mains load optimization, is um, now a plug-in card so you don't need to buy and you don't need to pay it when you uh, when you use Zyro PX. Only if you use it, you buy the card and you can plug it in. Um, so here on the right hand side, the right two green connectors are the connectors of the plug-in card. So normally they are empty. Um, there are there's a certain number of uh, inputs and outputs, digital and analog, in the standard unit. But if this number is not enough for your application, you can um, you can plug in um, I/O interface cards, which provide more inputs and outputs. So there are two versions of these uh, cards available. So the first version is an analog and digital I/O interface card with four digital inputs and three digital outputs and three analog inputs. Uh, the second version is a digital I.O. interface card with nine digital inputs and three digital outputs. Um, also a new feature of Zyro PX is that uh, you're really flexible in the configuration of the inputs and outputs. So uh, you can change the standard uh, allocation of inputs and outputs and do almost anything you wish to do within the power controller. So you could, uh, for example, even change the operating mode using a digital input. So you, you can do almost anything that you could think of. Probably we haven't thought of that, but you could still do that. So that's great about Thyro PX because we think that uh, this is an ideal unit to adapt to really special applications without having to change the firmware. Okay, for future uh, 
for future I.O. extensions, uh, every Therapy X unit has a so-called I.O. bus. So the I.O. Uh, bus uh, connector is connected on the bottom side of the control unit. And um, if we have, if there are special applications, uh, we will develop external I.O. cards or I.O. modules um, for your application. So if you if you have special needs, talk to our team, and uh, we will see what we can do. So ex uh, apart from this um, touch display, the Therapy X has seven LEDs. So the LEDs are also freely configurable, but of course they have standard functions. So each of the seven LED is both a red LED and a green LED. The one feature which is completely new in Saro, uh, in Saro PX is the multi-zone feature. So if you look at the left-hand side, that's a two-phase unit, a two PX. But you can also configure it it as if they were two completely independent single-phase units. So you buy one two-phase unit, but you use them as two single-phase units. You can imagine that this saves space in your cabinet, and it also saves money. So the same, the same feature is also there for the 3PX unit, a three-phase unit. You can use them as three independent single-phase units. So if you look at the left-hand side, Thero P, this is our existing high-end series, and the right-hand side, uh, Thero PX, you can see that we didn't change the dimension. So if you have installations, if you have drawings of old installations, it's really easy to change Thero P by Thero PX. The dimensions are equivalent. Okay, we almost come to the end of the presentation. Um, so here on this slide, you can see the order numbers of the available accessories. Okay, maybe before I go to the question and the conclusion, I should go back to slide 11 because uh, there, it seems that you didn't hear me. No, it seems everything should be fine. Sorry for that. So continue. Okay, so now we got a lot more questions here. Right, let me go back to the... Okay, I just uh, push the question to the so that everybody can see it. So um, the question is, is, does any bus mean that there's the same card for all connections, or is it different for each bus? Uh, of course, the any bus module is different for each bus, yeah? But, uh, but uh, yeah, there's a different any bus module for each bus. That's the answer. So the next question, let me also put that. So what are the main differences between Thero P and Thero PX? So as mentioned, the main differences are, uh, first of all, these uh, multi-zone feature, uh, the absolutely Biggest difference for me is the configurability with the IOs, also with the IO extensions. So we have never had such a flexible unit. Yeah. Um, and of course, this AnyBus modules, which makes it which makes it a lot easier and a lot faster to adapt to new bus systems. 
So that's, um, that's I would say, the main differences. So let me put another question. So when is the new app for the uh, touch panel will be available? It's it's not touch panel. It's a uh, it's the app for um, it's an app for uh, for a tablet computer. Yeah, it's it's not for touch panel. Maybe you can use it for touch panel, but I'm not sure. Normally, it's uh, it's used for mobile phones and for uh, for tablet computers. So the apps will be available in a few months. So we are working on that, and we have seen the first versions. But of course, we want to make it perfect before before we publish it. So I would say probably in March. Okay, one more question coming up. Uh, is the actually it's not called LBA2 anymore. It's called uh, Fire Touch Display. So it's not a standard. It's an option like it used to be with Fire Peak. So a lot of questions now regarding the uh, Thyro Touch. Is each touch display only working with one Thyro PX? Yes, the answer is yes. It's working with only one Thyro PX. One more question regarding the uh, low energy Bluetooth feature. What are the limitations and will I have full access to all features through Bluetooth? So the plan is that you will have access uh, to all features that you also have on the ABA, uh, sorry, on the Thorough Touch display. So normally uh, the idea behind is that the app should give you a more comfortable way um, to handle uh, to handle the configuration. I'm not sure how long we should continue with the uh, with the Q and A session. There, there are quite a few questions in the the inbox. Yeah, I know my my colleagues are answering them. I just need to Got select okay. the ones that uh, that are good for uh, for to present to the public. Okay, one uh, one question is: Is it possible to use a three-phase unit as one two-phase unit plus one monophase unit? So the answer is no. That's not possible, at least for now. We might, if we see demand, we might put this f feature in the future. But for now, it's just a three-phase unit can be either used as three-phase unit or as three single-phase unit. Maybe one more.
So one more question, then we will stop. Um, does the PX or will the PX replace completely the therapy? So the answer is yes, it will completely replace therapy uh, within the next year. So at the beginning of next year, we will um, we will send a discontinuation letter to all of our customers, and uh, but it has not yet been decided which is the exact date when you can place last orders for therapy, but it will be within the next year. Okay, maybe let's stop with the Q&A session. Uh, we will answer all of your questions. Uh, if my colleagues are not fast enough to answer these questions during the webinar, webinar, uh, we will send you emails. Or anyhow, if you have asked questions, we will send you emails with the answers to you. Okay, let's. Um, Let's come to a conclusion. So what you should take away uh, as knowledge for the Saru PX is the following. So of course the Saru PX is advanced energy high-end SCR power controller unit. So we have the best control accuracy. Uh, we have a really wide performance range. Uh, we have comprehensive operating and control mode. Um, and we have really flexible connectivity and communication. So you should take away that this unit is a lot more flexible than any of our other power controllers. Yeah. So if you have special application, Saru PX will most probably be able to do that, even without any uh, firmware change. Uh, there's easy integration into processes and automation system. Um, and of course, as mentioned, there's flexibility and expandability into new applications. Um, so I would like to, uh, yeah, just to tell you that we also have a um, so-called AE, Advanced Energy Advisor video series. So uh, my colleagues, I think it was uh, Timo, uh, has recorded a video series, uh, an intro into power controllers. So you can find that under this uh, YouTube link here on this slide. Or you can also search it on Euro, on sorry, on YouTube. Um, we also have uh, more content on our website. So there is a web page for Saru PX. And of course, there's also a web page general for our whole uh, Taro family power controller. So thank you very much for attending this uh, webinar. I hope it has been interesting. Oh, by the way, I forgot poll questions. And maybe we should do that now. Let me do that. We wanted to ask you how relevant has this information been uh, for your process and application. So please provide your feedback. I'm not sure if it works. I, I don't see that anybody is clicking right now. Okay. Uh, well, we would also like to ask you what additional information would you like to know about Cairo PX power controller? Okay. It seems you don't see the poll. 
I don't know, something isn't working. Okay, then let's end it here. Thank you very much for your attention. And uh, sorry for the technical troubles we, we, we have been facing. Uh, anyhow, my colleague will send you a feedback um, yeah, a feedback questionnaire, and it would be nice if you could fill that in. This has been one of our first webinars, so it's quite new for us, and we would like to learn as well. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hello everybody, this is Dirk Fulbaum. I'm product manager with Advanced Energy and welcome to our webinar in which I would like to introduce our new power controller series, Tyro PX. So first of all, I'd like to, uh, yeah, I'd like to prepare you a little bit uh, because uh, it's not only listening to our presentation, you can also submit questions during through this webinar interface while I'm giving the presentation. So it's not only me alone. I also have my uh, colleagues, Timo Nagel and uh, Katrin von Rhein uh, with me. And uh, so they will answer your questions online while I'm talking, okay? So at the end of the presentation, we will have a Q&A session in which I pick up some questions from your questions that might be interesting for the whole audience, and I will talk about that. So we also would like to ask some information from you, which we do uh, via two polls during this presentation. So you will be, uh, you, you, will, uh, you can answer questions by clicking on the respective field. Yeah? So you will see that it's easy, it should be fine. Okay, so let's get started. So first, I will give you a short introduction to our company, Advanced Energy. Uh, then the big part of the presentation will be about our new Thyristor uh, SCR power controller series, Thyro PX. I will give an overview, then some more details, key features and benefits. And at the end, uh, we will have this question and answer session and a conclusion. Okay, so let's start with the introduction to our company, Advanced Energy. Advanced Energy is an American company. It's a public uh, company, also on the NASDAQ. Uh, under, the, under the abbreviation AEIS. Yeah. So the size of the company, the revenue, annual revenue last year was about 360 uh, million US dollars. And we have uh, more than 1,500 employees worldwide. Our headquarters is in Fort Collins in Colorado in the US. So what does advanced energy do? Advanced energy focuses on the, um, on the development and of course the sales of precision power products. So advanced energy is interested in all the products that refer to precision power supplies 
end to really special application. So we have a, a, a big variety of products and we serve uh, really a lot as a, a big variety of industries as well. So we have radio frequency, we have AC, DC, high voltage, temperature measurement, temperature control, serving different industries. So today we are talking about the uh, temperature control. So for this uh, thermal, uh, we have two big products or product series in the company. So one is our pyrometers, which is uh, produced by the advanced energy company Sekidenko in the US. And of course, we have our SCR power controllers, the Thyro family series, um, which is our product. So we, uh, we, yeah, we develop this product and we uh, do the management for this product here in Germany. So we have over 50 years of experience in thyristor power controllers. 